Hi guys, this is Full Time FM collaborating with FM Scout and welcome to episode 2 of No Way Jose. If you're joining us for the first time, what I've done is put Jose Mourinho in charge of Blackpool just to see what happens. No real reason really, apart from I want to see what Mourinho could do at a club like Blackpool. The club is in absolute turmoil, no money, no staff, no players and I want to see if the special one can get Blackpool all the way to the Premier League. Maybe win the Champions League as well and then dominate the world by winning the Club World Cup. So, the first episode, I kind of messed up a little bit. I said it was the end of the season. There was about six games left. I do apologise for that. Absolute amateur. What on earth was I thinking? Right, so what we're going to do is check out the league last year because they didn't come ninth or eighth or whatever I said. They came in a different position. So, we'll just check that out. Uh, they actually came 7th and they were only 4 points behind getting into the playoff spots, which would have been good if they would have got promoted in the first season together, Blackpool and Mourinho. Uh, so they came 7th. What we'll do is check out the awards as well and see if Mourinho featured as Manager of the Year or uh, Manager of the Month or anything like that. Uh, so go for the Manager of the Month, we'll check out last year. Can we do that? Let's have a look. I don't think we can. It's only showing August. Uh, I'm not too sure why. Manager of the year last year was, in fact, Nigel Adkins. Uh, so, Mourinho didn't get that. Did any of the Blackpool players get in Team of the Year? We can check that out. Um, certainly didn't. There's a lot of Wigan players in there, though. A couple of Sheffield United players. So, yeah, he didn't win any awards. Uh, but he got them to seventh. Did pretty well. It was only four points from getting them to the playoff spots, which could have got them into the championship. So, what we'll do, we'll check out this year. Um, see how they're getting on. It is the 4th of September, so the transfer window has just closed. We'll check out what players he's brought in, see if he's brought in any new staff as well, who he's let go, where they're sitting in the league, and how they've started off in the second season. So, first thing we're going to do is check out the transfers. Now, as you know, Blackpool haven't got a lot of money. There's two people in charge of Blackpool called Owen and Carl Oyston. Absolutely killing the club. I went down to Blackpool a couple of weeks ago to watch them live uh, because I'm doing a Blackpool series on my own personal cha uh, channel. So, yeah, went down. There was a, only a couple of hundred people in the uh, stadium. Massive uh, protest outside. It was quite entertaining, to be fair. I was pretty shocked to see what I saw. Yeah, you know, absolutely killing the club, not putting any money into the club, selling a lot of players, blah, blah, blah. So Mourinho has got nothing to spend. And that's one of the reasons why I've put Mourinho in charge of Blackpool, because when he's been at Chelsea, when he's been at Real Madrid, you know, he's had a sugar daddy chairman like Abramovich, who's just going to keep giving him lots of money and he can buy pretty much whoever he wants. But different scenario at Blackpool. He's got no money, no players, hardly any staff. So uh, I think it'll be quite interesting to see how Mourinho does. So in this transfer window, he's brought in Tom Flanagan. So we'll have a quick check of him. Brought him in on a free. He's a centre-back, 23 years old. I'll just put the editor on so we can have a quick look at him. Um, his strength's all right at 13, I suppose. Jumping reach is decent at 15. Uh, tackling's 12, not too bad. But apart from that... Not that good. He's pretty strong. Six foot three, so he is a big lad. Maybe they needed some cover um, in the centre-back position. And because they've got no money to spend, you know, they can't really attract big players. They are in Skybet League 1 anyway, so you're not going to see massive players come there. But even players in the Skybet League 1 themselves are championship. They might not want to go to Blackpool because they can't match the wages that they want. But yeah, spent a bit of money, £45,000 on uh, Ross Turnbull from Leeds United. So check him out. He's a goalkeeper, 30 years old, bags of experience. So we'll have a quick look at him as well. No, he's all right, I suppose, for a Skybet League One goalkeeper. Um, his reflexes is 13, one on one's 13, handling 13, communications 12, reads the game very well at 15, brave, composed, uh, concentration's okay, very determined character as well. Positioning's not bad, strength 16. Yeah, he's not a bad player, I suppose, for uh, Blackpool, sitting in Sky Bet League 1. So I think that's a decent signing. 30 years old as well, so he's got bags of experience. Has he played in the Premiership? I'm sure he has. Yeah, he did with Middlesbrough in 2008-9. slash He played 22 games. Uh, played a couple of games for Middlesbrough there as well. Yeah, so he has played in the Premier League a couple of times. He's actually played a few games from, for Chelsea as well. So we will know Mourinho from his Chelsea days, so maybe that's why he's brought him in. Um, so they are linking back up together as well. The players they've let out is James Doyle, Shane Hill, Jarrett Rivers and Ibrahim Barr. Uh, so it looks like he's getting rid of some of the Deadwood. Have a look at some of the staff, see if he's brought in any new staff members. No, he certainly hasn't. Like I said, not a lot of money to spend. Um, so we can't really attract staff members as well. So we'll check out the league, see how Mourinho's getting on in his second season. So the same fifth, five games played, three games won, two drawn and they're undefeated. 
sitting on 11 points, um, only one point behind automatic promotion, second place. Could this be the year that Mourinho gets Blackpool into the championship? Could be, might not be, we never know. So what I'll do, that's the, uh, the transfer window that's over. I'll holiday to the 1st of February, so the winter transfer window has happened and it's over. We'll come back then, see how he's getting on in the league. We'll see what plays he's brought in, if he has brought any players in. I'm quite surprised he's not raided the loan market or he's not raided uh, people who aren't tied down with a contract with any club. Quite surprised he's not done that. But I'll come back 1st of February and uh, we'll see what players he's brought in. See if he's brought in any staff, see where they're sitting in the league and we'll take it from there. So that's the end of the episode. Blackpool. First five games looking pretty decent. 1-3 drawn, 2 undefeated sitting in the playoff spots. So, end of the video. Hit the like button if you liked it. Leave a comment if you want to leave a comment. And if you want to see the rest of this series and all the other series that are coming out on the FM Scout website as well, uh, the YouTube channel, sorry, by the other content creators, hit that subscribe button. If you want to check out my personal channel as well, there'll be a link on, in the description for that too. And I'll be back at the 1st of February to check out the new players, see where Blackpool are sitting in the league, and I will see you guys then.